I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. Fritters should be crispy on the outside and soft on the inside, studded with fresh apples and covered with cinnamon sugar. In my hometown of Glastonbury CT, shout out to G-Berry. There's this guy who makes apple fritters in a little truck. It's very unassuming, but they are one of the best things I've ever had in my entire life. I had them when I was growing up every single fall. And so I tried to recreate them in the kitchen and it was pretty successful. I gotta be honest, it's very, very close to the ones that I had in my hometown. So let's do this thing, starting off with our cinnamon and sugar, which will be the coating on the crispy fritter on the outside. Oh, it just ties everything together. Very simple, some white sugar. And then you're gonna add in your cinnamon and just give it a little toss until it's combined. Mmm, it's one of my favorite smells of fall. Breathing deeply. So moving on to our dry ingredients. I have some all-purpose flour in a big bowl and we're gonna just mix together our dry ingredients. Baking powder to help our guys fluff up. Then salt, flavor, of course. Cinnamon, we're keeping on the fall vibes. Add a little bit of warmth. And then I have some nutmeg, which is also really nice and warm. And it just adds not like a spiciness, but just this floral amazingness. I don't know how to describe it, it's just good. <laughs> then mix it together. Set your dries aside and we're going to mix together our wet ingredients, starting with some applesauce. I'm gonna use sweetened applesauce because we're actually not gonna use any added sugar in the batter for this. I forgot what I was making. Fritter. <laughs> for the fritters. <laughs> and applesauce is gonna add apple flavor, sweetness, and it's also gonna add nice moisture to the batter. More moisture. We have some whole milk. And then butter because butter makes everything better. Then we have eggs to bind our fritters together. And then the final ingredient is vanilla extract. For flavor, I love my vanilla extract. Add that right in too. And then you have to get stirring. Then once everything's all stirred together, you're gonna add your dry ingredients to your wet. Now you have to stir this and make sure you don't overdo it. Just stir it until it's just combined. It's okay if there's some lumps. This is the consistency that you want. A little lumpy, but that's good. I'm gonna go grab my apples. How do you like them apples? So we need about a cup or so of fresh diced apples. If you like a lot of apples, you can add a little bit more. So how I like to dice my apple is just to cut these big slices into thin little pieces. And then you wanna flip it around and just go the other way and you'll get a rough little dice. So now we'll have apples two ways in our fritters. We'll have it via applesauce and via fresh apples. I like honey crisp, but you can really use whatever type of baking apple you like. Hold them in. Let's go over and fry these babies up. In a pan, I have about an inch of oil. I use canola oil. You can use like a vegetable or canola, something flavorless. And we're heating it over medium heat until it reaches 350 degrees. And then we're gonna drop our batter in. It's at 350. That means it's time to drop our batter. So I'm gonna take a quarter cup and I'm just gonna drop that quarter cup amount of batter right into the hot oil. And then I'll do one more just to make it worth our while here. 
And we're gonna let this go for two to three minutes for the first side, flip it two to three more minutes for the second side. Can't wait. Timer's going off, so we're gonna flip our fritters to the other side and cook for two to three more minutes. They're done. So give them a good shake, get that extra oil out, and then pop them right into your cinnamon and sugar mixture because you need to toss them right away for the cinnamon and sugar to stick. Just give them a good toss. We're gonna keep going for your other batches. Keep dropping in your fritter dough. And you wanna try to maintain that 350 degree oil temperature, uh, or just keep your oil on medium heat. It usually works that way too. The best thing is having a plate full of fritters, cinnamon sugar fingers, and a bite. And no cinnamon sugar lips. Oh my gosh. They're just like the glass and berry ones. Just what you want. Mm. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. Too many pumpkins have seeds. There's only one way to find out. <laughs>